In this exercise, we're going to fit some curves to a scan line. And the point of this exercise is to break the scan line up into its primary surfaces. So to do that, we'll just work with one scan at this point. So I'm going to pick it and use the object display hide unselected. Now, as you saw, this was one piece. So to make this a little easier and a little better, so that it's one piece of scan so that I can not have to split it where it's already broken, I'm going to use the attach connect and just connect these. Now we have one scan line. So I'll start at the top, and I'm going to use the Fit Curve tool. Select the curve, it gives me a total fit. And I see that I need one here. Why do I need one here? Think of this as the primary surface. So if we go to ortho mode, and I'll put this in a left-hand view, this would be the top. Okay. So I'm not going to include this radius. And I'm not going to include that radius. I just want that piece. Here I'll see if degree 2 still gets me within my deviation. It's nice when you have just a degree 2 because then you know you only have curvature on one side. You will not have an OG. Okay. I'll select the next area, bring it down past the radii, bring it up maybe to here. Okay, now I can kind of see here that I think there's actually another feature here, just by how that fit. So I'll bring this up into this area. Okay, and we get a really close fit here. Maybe just down a little. Now that starts to go under. I'm going to go back. Okay, well within my tolerance. We'll say 0.25 or something, or 0.5 again. So if I think that's a radii, I've got to come down below the radii. Again here, I'm leaving this radii. I am only fitting the parts that are her surface. We aren't worried about theoreticals right now. We'll come back and make a theoretical. So all we're worried about right now is just getting these little, all the little areas of main curvature. Now these areas are often interesting because if we have curvature, if we would like curvature in two directions, and this only has crown in one direction, this curvature will be going this way, this curvature will be going this way. Theoretically, this line needs an OG for it to flow right through. I'm just going to fit this with a degree one for now. Go past this radii. And again here, just, just looking at the scan a little critically, I, I think there's a fillet right there. Okay, so I'll take this back up to two. Slide around the corner. Maybe that's kind of a generous fillet. And I want to try to get equidistant. Okay, see how that is? Now I'm going to look at this. And I, you know, as I'm fitting this, I have to make some judgments. This fascia, does it have that in it? Well, typically, I would say fascias, no. They do not have that kind of feature in them, only because it needs some kind of dipole. So if this actually had a up and down, we could be violating that dipole. I don't think we're too bad here but I really don't think the bottom of this fascia's intention was to have this. Now we could go look at the clay. Additionally, we could look at a section next to this one. So if we do an object display visible, and I look at one section over, we're missing that little area. Let's look over here. Okay, so I, gotta, I have to go all the way to this one to see if we have that same OG. And here you can see it's more just wavy, okay? So 
I'm going to say we don't want to fit that. Now this is where you, know, you might have to speak to a designer, but it's not really your, your job to decide on what features to eliminate. But since this feature is sub a quarter of a millimeter, so it's very small, I'm gonna say we don't approximate that. And I never like to see when I'm fitting with degree two, I never like to see all this acceleration at one end. If I'm seeing all this acceleration at one end, to me, it usually means I haven't found the right spot and I'm getting too much lead in. So I'm trying to put too much into this. Now, this could be a case where the system is having some trouble because of this large deviation and this weirdly shaped curve. So I'm going to accept that curve, delete its construction history, and then I'm just going to do a little bit of CV modification here. Slide this back. Now we will get we will get a little raise in the in the deviation. But we're along the bottom of the fascia, and I'm going to say in this case that's probably looking pretty good. Okay. So to get back to where we were, I'm going to pick curve, pick all my curves, pick object, and pick this one section. And do my hide unselected again. <coughs> All of these appear to be well within my tolerance. Okay. Let's go back to this left view. And I just want to do some extending because I'd like to find and be sure that these go to the theoreticals that I'm looking for. For instance, this appears, now that I come back and look at it, like I'm too far around this corner. Okay. I'm not going to have any chance for lead in. And if I do, this point is going to meet somewhere kind of peculiar. So if I can, and I still have my history, which I don't know if I do. Nope. So I'm just going to extend and see where we go. So I'll extend this and that. And that's my point. For now, we'll say that's okay. This. Now, when you see that CV starting to accelerate and crowd the end, Typically, it means you're too 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 uh, too much curvature at one end. This is so flat. I'm going to just extend it by moving this control vertice a little bit. That will take out some of the. Notice I haven't done any curve curve combs or anything. I'm just trying to get a nice some nice shapes here. And if you look at the control vertices, you don't always have to rely on curvature cones and things. So this has a little bit more acceleration at the top still. That's why we saw it wrapping so quickly. So I'm just going to, and if you see as I, as I extend the flat, we get more of a constant curvature. Okay, and I'm going to say that's probably pretty good. And now I'll extend. And we'll extend the rest of these to their theoreticals. Now once you get one extended to its theoretical, you can use the snapping tool. So if I extend this and then I want to extend this to here, it will snap to it. Okay. This is where we might get a little crazy just due to the fact that this radius is so big, but we'll see here. Okay, see how that radius starts to crowd? By crowd, I mean this radius starts to really this CV, I'm sorry, it starts to really pull towards the other one. So I'm going to extend this a little bit. And once I get it extended that much, then I'm going to come back with my move CV and I'll just do a slide. So I get my, my extension, but not so much um, acceleration. And now I got to do just a little bit of manual fitting because I've pulled off. I've got an extra curve here and I'm not quite sure how that happened. I'm just going to delete the extra fillet curve. Okay. That looks like a pretty good fit now. And let's just object edit and extend this to here. Now we can do extensions backwards instead of trimming. You could use trim. You could use the section tool. Curve section with trim and go. And 
and now we've framed that section. Delete locators. The next step would be applying some fillets. I'll use the fillet tool. We could also make a new layer, put our curves on that layer. Curves are separate from sections. A different data type. I'll assign those here and let's make them a little bit different color, maybe purple. I've got this picked as my creation layer. I'll go to curve, curve fillet. Let's go between these two. It's a five mil radius. Let's go curvature. Maybe a form factor of 0.5 I tend to like. It gives you a nice lead in. Maybe we'll go to 15. And that looks pretty good. Now I'm only building these fillets so that I can see how the how the surface fillets would react to these two slabs. So at this center line section, this is going to be pretty good. Let's try here. Maybe a 50. 75, maybe 65, looks pretty good. Between these two. So it says curve failed. That's because it's too big, I believe. So let's go down to five. Okay. Maybe 10. And maybe we'll go back to just about an eight. Looks pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna leave that eight. Eh, maybe we'll make it a nine. It looks a little, or I'm sorry, a seven, a little bit smaller. And then last but not least, this one could take a large radius. And it doesn't like that. There's a 50, maybe 60, and it doesn't like to go over 50. Sometimes the, the fillet tools, uh, after a certain size radius, they, they just have difficulty um, balancing a fillet to both sides. Oftentimes, I think it's because you have the theoretical just in the wrong spot. And if we go here to, maybe we can get it to build a 55. Well, it built a 50, so let's try a 50. And we just don't have enough, enough. Um, we can't get a large enough radius to really approximate that shape. So I'm just going to take these two, these two slabs, and I'm going to try to add just a little bit of acceleration to them. So I'll grab both of these theoreticals, so right at the, right at the center point, and I'm going to move that up. back and I'm watching this up here so I'm watching here and here now another good good method for this is to use the the CV project tool but parallel so it's not going to move these off so now I can slide this kind of and then slide it up maybe we need down I'm, I'm looking at the curve over here and over here and trying to find a good balance between the two okay so I want to move it this way a little bit. And now let's see if we can get a little bit larger radius in here. And it doesn't like it. In this case, maybe we'll try cord. Let's try a cord length of, of 50. Okay. So right here, I can see we're going to have a little bit of work to do in this area. I'll save that for when I'm building surface fillets. Um, it, it just has to do with... I've got not a good fit down here because of this poor scan line, and that's causing my curve to be off and not fit this very well. So we've got it fit pretty good. Um, I'm going to say that I would leave these slabs and maybe work my way now to some surface data and see if when I fit over here, I get a little bit better little bit better match where I don't have this strange curve shape. Okay, let's try fitting these curves. Okay. 